Hi there, it's Umesh Damani here once again, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to manifest your desires in just three simple steps. You see, I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction, and what you put out determines what you get back. Now, do you know what? The universe has a very unique way of shaping our lives and guiding us, but you know what? We often overlook it and fail to use it to our benefit. Now, when you're on the path to building your online business or your time freedom lifestyle, you need to use the power of your thoughts, your feelings and your behavior to create your goals. Now, alignment is the key word here, okay? Alignment. You've got to align yourself with your desires, your goals and your dreams. Now, when I see it in a lot of people, many people when trying to manifest their desires focus way too much on the outside outcomes of what, they, what it is they want to achieve. So it's more about how can I get something to make me feel better? Now to me, that's fine, but I think the concept needs to be flipped on its head a little bit here. And you need to focus on how can I get the skills or what processes do I need to follow so that I can attract more greatness into my life? Does that make sense? So here are my three simple steps to getting aligned and doing it really, really quickly. Okay. Number one, you've got to watch your beliefs. Right off the bat here, you must align your belief systems to be in total agreement with what it is that you're wanting. Why, you may ask? Well, because if your beliefs don't underpin your vision, yep, your mind, that really clever subconscious mind of yours, will always be subconsciously holding you back from achieving your goals, your dreams, and your desires, okay? You'll not be able to move on or go for your desires with that inner conflict just bubbling around inside your head. Not only are you holding yourself back, but you're also sending out mixed messages to the universe. So, clarity is king here when it comes to manifesting what you want. You must have really clear intentions of what it is that you want, otherwise, you know what? You're gonna manifest a whole lot of stuff that you really, really don't want. So focus on what you desire and then make a list of all the things that go along with it. So for example, if you're looking to buy a house, make a list of all the things that you want about the house that would make you really, really happy. It could be the garden, it could be the look and feel of the rooms or the unspoilt views over the back or even that big 50 inch curved TV sitting proudly on your fireplace wall. You know, be unapologetic about what it is that you want. Be really ruthless about it. Now, this list helps to clarify your intentions and access a really vibrant mental picture of what you desire and more importantly, how you want to feel. Now it's that feeling that makes that manifestation come into form, okay? So number two, you've got to get buzzing. The next step is to become a vibrational match for what it is that you want. Basically, we're all vibrations. Our thoughts and feelings are vibrations, and these vibrations are sent out into the universe, which in itself is one big vibration. So whatever you think or feel vibrates and resonates with the universe. That's basically how the universe learns of our desires. That's how the law of attraction works. Like attracts like. I hope that makes sense. You see, you're an energy and your emotions and your moods are a direct indicator of your level of vibration at any given moment. It's like, um, it's like your internal barometer. So when you're really buzzing, you'll feel emotions like love, excitement, peace, happiness, gratitude. But when you're in a low vibrational state, you'll feel emotions like anger, sadness, fear, hurt, jealousy, even hopelessness. They're like your internal sat-nav that either take you towards or away from your dreams, okay? So this is how you know how close or how far you are away from achieving your dreams. The better you feel, the closer you are, and vice versa. So whatever makes you feel good, do more of it, seriously. That's how you raise your vibrational levels, okay? Make sense? And finally, number three, get ready because it's coming. Okay, sounds strange, but once you've done some alignment of your beliefs and started to vibrate at the frequency of your desires, all that's left for you to do is just to get ready to embrace them with open arms, okay? This receptive mode is the last piece of the creative process, okay? 
the receptive mode is more something that you feel rather than can be explained, okay? So it's that type of sensation of knowing when everything is working in your favor. You know, when your dreams are so close, you can taste them. You can feel them. That excitement is just bubbling up inside you. And that bliss is what leads you to that receptive mode, okay? Mind you, it's not gonna be landing on your lap just so easily. It will come to you bit by bit through ideas, impulses, hunches, and just quiet periods of reflection. So don't try and make it happen, just allow it to happen, okay? So there you go, there are your three simple steps to helping you to manifest your desires. So go and have some fun and put them into practice and just see how you get on. So before I wrap up, I wanna ask you a few favors if that's okay. Please subscribe to my channel below. There should be a video, uh, a button somewhere below, and that way you'll get to see every single video I create. Then hit the like button, and please share this video with your friends on social media, anywhere you want. Let's work together to get these messages out there. And do you know what? If you've got something to add, then drop a comment below. Let's start a conversation, and let's share this journey. Yeah, makes sense. And finally, if you're really loving this stuff, uh, then I've got a special gift for you. It's yours for free as my gift to you, okay? All you've got to do is just click on the link either in this video or in the box below and just give me your best email address so I know where to send it to. Anyway, that's it for today. Take care and until next time, have a great day. See you later.